One of the things that live theater should do is take us out of our usual lives. That is accomplished in the new production at Mad Horse Theater in South Portland. The play is called The Whale, and with us here on 207, four of the people who are bringing this to life, director Christine Marshall, Ella Bryman, Gus LaRue, and Burke Brimmer. You three are all actors. You're the director. Thanks for coming in. It's good to have you here. Thank you for having us. What's the basic story, Christine? Uh, a man is uh, in his apartment um, mysteriously eating himself to death. Not just any man, a guy who weighs 600 pounds. He feels like he's between five and 600 pounds. Five and 600 pounds. Yeah. How, do you, how do you cast that role? <laughs> Burke, obviously. Burke, obviously. You're not having enough milkshakes. How uh, do, what what do they do that. to create, uh, create the illusion that you weigh 600 pounds? Well, Christine created a fat suit, um, and it's, it's, it's uh, quite an accomplishment. It's heavy. It's got some heft to it. I'm not sure. We haven't weighed it. Mm. but it gives the illusion of someone who is that size. Is it difficult for you to do it does the things that an actor wants to do on stage yes. in that outfit? Walking through doorways, I find I have to go through sideways. I, yeah, it's, it's absolutely, um, it is difficult. And, and it tends to be a little bit, uh, mess with my head a little bit, I think. Ella, um, Gus, and Burke, between the three of you, you have done about 30 plays at Mad Horse, but Burke has done all 30 of them. <laughs> this is the first show for you two. What's it been like for you, Ella? Um, this has been a crazy experience for me. It's been a lot of work. This is the definitely the longest running show I've ever done, but it's been really fun to work with a more professional environment. Gus, same thing for you. First time you've worked with an adult cast in this kind of a, you know, a pretty serious theater operation. How has the experience been for you? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's showing me more that side of of what I might consider doing with my life, so it's been just a great experience. You've pulled another one into the theatrical <laughs> world, Christine. It must make you very proud. I think youth actors are extraordinary, and I'm, I'm fascinated by how often people want to cast older actors in teenage roles, when in fact we watch movies and television every day, and we see actors who are children or teenagers who are amazing. So. I really think it's important to give youth actors the opportunity to play roles that are age appropriate. This is uh, not a play for kids. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this <laughs> terrible language. Serious language, serious oh. themes in this. What for you was the biggest challenge in bringing this play to life? For me, um, I think we wanted it to be uh, as realistic as possible for Burke's experience. Um, I think that um, with their age, I think I, I was very anxious about Ella and Gus having an experience that was not uncomfortable or awkward for them in terms of the language that they use. They use drugs in the play. I, I wanted to be very, very careful that we were being um, respectful of their age and, and what was appropriate for them. I'm curious, what are your what have your friends said about this, given that you guys are in what is, again, not a kid's play, and these are some pretty challenging things that your, your characters have to deal with. What have your friends said about it? Um, a few of my friends saw the play on Sunday, and they, they really enjoyed it. They said it was fun to see me in like a different, different role than I usually play in real life. Gus? Well, uh, after they kind of laughed about just me being the awkward Mormon on stage, um, <laughs> they really told me that they actually were kind of enveloped by it and they enjoyed the experience. So. That's, I like that term, enveloped. That's what you want to have happen to the audience, right, Burke? Absolutely, absolutely. I did not want this to be a caricature of, of someone who is this size, and, and that uh, speaks to how well the suit has been constructed. You obviously want people to go away having been entertained. You also want them to be thinking to some degree when they leave the theater. What do you want to be thinking about? What kind of impact do you want this play to have? I think it's really important that when we're in any place during the day that we see strangers and we just don't think about the fact that every person has something of huge import happening in their life and you might not know it by just passing them on the street. And I think all of the characters in this play, Amanda Eaton and Amy Tori are the other ones, have these powerful demons that they're fighting um, and I also find it fascinating that uh, so far people who have seen the show say, I want to know what happens to these people afterward. And that's so wonderful to hear because it means they weren't ready for it to be over. They want more. That's a wonderful way for people to leave the theater. They were pulled into the story. Yeah. Again, the name of the play is The Whale at Mad Horse Theater in South Portland through November 18th. Thank you all for being here. More information on the play, showtimes, ticket sales, everything else, the 207 section of our website and mobile app. And we're going to be right back.